Welcome to Mammoth Tutorials. We are now going to show you how to create a contact in Mammoth Business Software. Firstly, we are going to select the Contact Management Focus area, which is on the left hand side of the window. Then we are going to select the Contact Shortcut. In order to create a new contact, we must click on the New button. We will then give the contact a name. Note that the contact management consists of customers, suppliers and also relevant partners and private contacts. A contact can act as both a customer and a supplier. In order to invoice a customer, it is essential that the customer tick box is checked. And in order to record purchases, it is essential that supplier is checked. We are now going to enter an address for the customer. You can either enter the address directly in the window or click on the address button and then fill out the details. It is also possible to enter different addresses depending on whether it is the invoice, registered, delivery or other address. Simply click on the drop down list to define these. We are now going to enter the telephone number for the customer, followed by the email address. In the RF field, the program retrieves staff that are registered within the employee register as customer service agents. The notes field is where you can enter useful free format text associated with the customer. With the help of the group field, you are able to make a classification, which makes it easier to filter the contacts later. Here you have the possibility to enter your own groups. We are going to click on Add a Group, then right click and select Change in the Properties Register. Then click New to create a new group and enter a name for the group. Click OK then OK again. You can then select your new group and click on Add. Click OK to close the window. We are now going to create a contact person. To do so we are going to click on the contact persons tab and then click on New. Here you are able to enter the desired information regarding the contact person. You also have the possibility to enter a different address, separate groups, etc. We are now going to click on save and then quit. Before you invoice the customer, you should go to the settings tab and go through the settings for the customer and the customer and supplier ledger. Here you are able to customize the settings for the specific contact such as payment terms, VAT classification and currency. We are now going to click on the Customer and Supplier Ledger tab. Here you are able to define the settings for customer credit, account on hold and whether payment reminders or factoring will be used for this specific customer. We are now going to click on OK to save the changes and then exit this window. It may be useful to customize the contacts management module based on your needs. Therefore, you should go through the user settings and tailor them to suit your preferences. Note that the settings that you define here only apply to you and will have no implications for other users of the system. We are now going to click on user settings and select the contacts register tab. Here you are able to enter the default values that will automatically be selected on the creation of a new contact, in addition to other useful settings. We are now going to click on the Tab tab. Here you can select which tabs you wish to be displayed in the Contacts window. Under the Contacts list tab, you can specify which columns you wish to be displayed in the Contacts list, along with additional settings for the Contacts list. Finally, we are going to show you the buttons that are available within the toolbar. When you click on the List button, you will see a searchable list of all your contacts. 
as you saw within the user settings, you are able to tailor this view under the contact list tab. In addition, you have the buttons save, delete and undo. You are also able to do a more advanced search with the help of the search button or set a filter using the filter buttons. With the help of the blue arrows, you are able to browse through the contacts. Once more, by clicking on the arrow beside the sorting button, you are able to define the sequence used when you browse through the contacts. You also have the possibility to view a map of where the contact is based and a travel route from your company address to the contacts address. In order to close the window, you need to click on quit. We have now shown you how to create a contact in Mammoth Business Software. You will find additional tutorial videos on our website.